Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got a brand new storm release for you today. Absolute power. Oh, I my best self, but I feel sometimes I do. All right, so what is Absolute Power? We had the original Absolute release just about a year ago from this release. That one was a hybrid version, much cleaner. This one's gonna have a solid cover stock. Same core, same type of cover. Now, this is just the solid version of the Absolute. We're gonna compare this to the Eternity Pi. Core numbers are fairly similar. Biggest difference is gonna be the cover. So I'm anticipating this ball to get down the lane a little bit further and be a little bit more on the back end. So we'll move around, throw some shots. We're bowling on, I think, 39 feet. Not 100% sure. So she is quite strong still, but it is going to be the weakest solid asymmetric bowling ball that we have in our line. We're gonna talk about all of the big strong balls that we have across all of our lines, Storm, Rotor Grip, and 900 Global. Probably gonna have to start with the gem and then the magic gem, reality, in the DNA, and then we have Eternity Pi here, and Absolute Power is gonna fit a step below that. Today, I'm gonna probably be further left with the power. You might be asking why. Since the power is gonna be a little bit cleaner, when it sees friction, it's gonna get offline a little faster. So if I'm playing straighter, I'm gonna have to be way more up the back than I would have to be with the Pi, because the Pi is stronger, it's gonna read a little bit earlier, blend off the spot, not be as quick to see the friction. Let's just move around the lane, see what we got here, see what this thing can do. liking this thing so far. If you noticed, we're here at the National Bowling Stadium and we're here for a tournament actually and a clinic running in conjunction with Championship Bowling. So thank you Chayton for inviting me out here to run the clinic and bowl the tournament. And thank you the staff here at the National Bowling Stadium for allowing us to come and do what we do. So absolute power, we have five by five by four and three quarters. It's gonna be a pinned down layout for me. Uh, a little bit on the weaker side. I tried to match that with this being a weaker bowling ball, allowing me to move a little bit more left, get some more free push, get myself some hand positions to play with. And I actually haven't been this far left yet on this lane, so we're kind of getting into some uncharted territories. I think I'm scared to be in the I gotta make it. <laughs> Just barely, so pretty much four completely different releases so far. Fairly versatile, I would say. Don't know if this would be the first ball out of my bag. Just because of the strength of the cover, it's on the weaker side. This is R2S Deep, and that is gonna be a little bit weaker than R2S, which is found on High Road, IQ Ruby, honestly found on a lot of different bowling balls. So let's take one more step to the left, and then we'll see how the pie stacks up. Cool, so basically we've struck from everywhere from around 10 at the arrows to you know, sliding in the left gutter. They're not the hardest. I did get to break them down a little bit, but so far so good, I like this one. I don't know exactly what the scent is, but it smells really good. One of my favorite scents to date so far. And personally, I don't like patchy bowling balls where you can see big patches. This one is an exception just because it strikes a lot. Not liking to see how many revolutions I have going down the lane. Absolute power is a winner. Should we just start left and then work our way back to the right? say so. With the distance out there, I have successfully kind of hooked the pie. Big ball's typically not really one to move left and give it the big loop, but this one's been okay.
So I don't know if you could tell, but definitely a little smoother, a little rounder, a little bit lazier as well. That one is drilled just a touch weaker. I'd say five and a quarter by five by probably five. But the pin is just in a slightly weaker spot. The mass bias is the same. So actually brings the balls a touch closer together. I would uh, imagine as we get kind of into that track zone, this ball is gonna start looking a lot better. Definitely much rounder. That tells me the ball's a little stronger, relatively speaking, based on what we're balling on right now. So it's gonna be a little more controllable. So if you need that little bit of pop down the lane, power is gonna be the play. If you wanna go for a little more control, Eternity Pi or higher is gonna be what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a big ball to fill that slot at the top of the bag, for me, this isn't it because it's just a little too weak. But if you're on the higher ball speed side and you want it to kind of tame off a little more or use that back end motion, you need that extra pop. You're on the big strong balls and they're just gassing out too much or they're missing the spot because you're throwing it so hard. This one's gonna give it a better chance to shape. Definitely gonna be the easiest one to curve the lane with. All right, so this is about where we started. Maybe even a little further right. Now to me, that was the best looking one by far. So do these two belong in the same bag? It's tough. If you had an eight ball arsenal, I would say yes. Six, maybe not so much. Like Eternity Pie is still a little more on the upper echelon of strong balls. Something I would want to see in my bag. This one definitely kind of sneaks in there. I think a ball that I'm going to be drawing on tour if I see a little bit something. Lane's maybe a little too early for those big balls, but for the weaker ones, still too soon. This is where it's going to fit. So a couple more with absolute power. That one's going high. Finally trip one. I've been bowling here for about, what time is it? We've probably been here for like a three hours. That is the first trip four I've had. But I don't think we've ever had a ball that looks like this before. That's solid gray. Do I need to change my thumb pitches? That one's pretty good off the hand though. This has been Absolute Power by Storm. That's gonna be your new Big ASIM Strong Ball. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.